Hi, welcome to this open day presentation for the MSc Urban Data Science and Analytics course at the University of Leeds. I'm Vicky Holden, a lecturer in Urban Data Science within the School of Geography and the programme lead for this MSc. I'm going to talk a little bit about the university as a whole and the School of Geography to let you know what really sets us apart as a school. I'll tell you about the course, what makes it so unique and I think really exciting. We'll go through the different modules and streams you can focus on, as well as the, the main themes that we look at throughout the programme and how these can lead to potential dissertation topics, before finally looking at graduate prospects, before finishing off with the contact details. So why Leeds? Well, we really aim for you to develop such a specific subject knowledge. One really unique aspect about an MSc at Leeds is the applied context and connections, which will set you apart from your peers, whatever career path you choose after you graduate. We also really encourage students to look at both prospects in academia, whether that's with a PhD at Leeds or elsewhere, or across a whole range of graduate opportunities, both nationally and internationally. You'll be taught by subject experts who are passionate, creative and inspiring, but who are also academic leaders in their disciplines. The course we're focusing on is taught on campus, and while most students do study for one year full-time, there are opportunities to do, to do part-time study, which we'd be more than happy to discuss with you to find the best way to make the course work for you. And particularly if you've got any questions about that, please feel free to reach out and we'll be really happy to um, figure out the best way to make that work. The MSc in Urban Data Science and Analytics was launched in, in 2021 and it combines background theory and concepts with technical training and real urban data to provide a really holistic learning experience which trains you up to become an urban data scientist. We take a overall workflow approach to everything. So we take an urban problem or a challenge, find suitable data, pre-process it, analyze the problem and produce really impactful outputs. We do this through coding training in Python. So although there's no prerequisite knowledge of programming required, um, you'll um, become a Python expert in no time. We are working towards becoming more language agnostic as we uh, progress with the course. So like I said, we don't expect students to come in experts in programming. In fact, some of our students don't have any experience of programming at all. All you really need is a bit of a grasp of numbers and an enthusiasm to learn. Python is taught with no pre-learning required from the basics up, so you'll become an expert programmer before you know it. We have an extensive use of relevant data science libraries plus loads of urban data so you'll really get a feel for the different things that you can do within programming and build up your knowledge in a way that works for you to achieve the outcomes that you want. You'll work collaboratively on real world problems both with your peers but also um, partners so academic and industry partners to see a real world impact in what you're doing and a lot of kind of authenticity around understanding what you're doing in the classroom and how this relates to the wider world and this, how this might lead into your graduate prospects. We work closely with both LIDA, so that's Leeds Institute of Data Analytics, and the CDRC, a Consumer Data Research Centre, which provides access to partners' data and real-world coding problems that we work on throughout the course. So who's this course for? Well, as long as you're interested in cities, this course is probably for you. So anyone who's interested in proving their skills relevant to the course, so urban science, data science, programming, being creative with this, um, we do a lot of field work and really focus on those real world skills. So there's no specific um, prerequisites required, but we do, um, I think it's important that you have some quantitative background because we do a lot of data science and statistics with the course so having some experience of quantitative methods um, will just really help you progress with your understanding of that. So how this might look will vary from applicant to applicant but some of the things we might look for in an application alongside this kind of enthusiasm for urban data science 
is some experience of mathematics or statistics or some programming and or a bit of experience of quantitative methods. We definitely don't expect you to have all of these um, and if you've got any questions about whether this course might be right for you then please just get in touch and let us know. We'll be more than happy to discuss your unique background and how this course might work for you. So currently we have a whole range of students from different backgrounds um, and some of the backgrounds that we particularly encourage applications for are geographers, people who've worked in computer science or data science, um, urban planners, people with experience of maths and stats, economists or social science scientists if there's a little bit of quantitative or statistical experience there. This list is by no means prescriptive or exhaustive. Um, we welcome applicants from a whole broad range of backgrounds um, and we'd be interested from hearing from you if you think this course might be for you or if you want to talk through whether your experience is um, appropriate for the course. I'm just going to talk a little bit about the different modules that you might look at while you're part of the course. So we break the module down into kind of semester two, one and then semester two and um, that kind of moves into the summer term as well. So in semester one, you'll do a programming for data science module, which gives you this whole introduction to programming currently taught within Python. So that works from the basic basics up and gives you a um, really detailed practice of um, how you can code within Python. You'll apply this particularly in your data science for cities module. Now this is a kind of traditional lecture and lab setup which will introduce different aspects of urban data science methods and analytics within the lectures and then we'll go straight on and apply these immediately within the lab. So you get a lot of um, application of taking the urban data and using it with your programming skills to apply it straight away. So really deepening your understanding and building up your practice week on week. So you'll get a lot of experience through this with working with real data. So we cover a whole range of urban topics within this module and kind of put this into practice using different types of real urban data. And you also have analysing cities within semester one where you'll look more at the urban context and work more on your writing and presentation skills as well. So again, we'll look at different urban topics each week to kind of build a really um, broad understanding of the different areas of urban data science. In semester two, you'll do um, kind of a lot more applied work. So you'll look at analytics for urban policy where you'll look, take a, specifically a workflow approach to understanding how data science methods are applied in a policy and a practical context. And again, covering a whole range of different urban data ty types and contexts. And what's really fun about that module is that we go on a field trip to see how all this works in practice and get some time to like bond as a cohort while we're away. We also do a creative coding on urban problems module. Now this is really un unique in that it's taught in a hackathon approach. So each session will have a academic or an industry partner who will come in and set us a real urban data science challenge. So we'll work with real urban data, we'll work in groups to come up with creative solutions, applying everything that we've learned so far. So the data um, analytics methods from data science, your programming techniques and the context from analyzing cities. And we'll bring this together to work and solve these problems and really build your confidence with working with real data and exploring new um, data science and programming techniques that you'll need to apply those. And then we'll present those solutions to the rest of the cohort, as well as those industry and academic partners. So it's a really applied and um, really involved module. And then towards the end of semester two, you'll start thinking about your dissertation or your urban data science project. Now this is fairly unique compared to other dissertations you might have come across because it's a lot more applied and a lot more real world relevant. So you'll work with a supervisor and potentially an industry partner to work on an individual data science project which will kind of put into practice everything you've learned so far and you'll really prove um, 
that you are now an urban data scientist. And the submission for this is a code notebook. So you'll show all the analytics you've done and how you've analyzed the data in a annotated code format. So that combines um, writing with the programming code itself. And you'll also submit a policy or practical briefing which demonstrates the real world impact of what you've done. You also have the option of doing um, different optional modules and these are divided into streams. So you can choose to focus on either urban transport or urban analyst and the urban analyst stream focuses more on GIS um, mapping and spatial methods whereas the urban transport is more about mobility, transportation within cities. And for each of those, so you'll pick a stream and then you'll do two modules, one in semester one and one in semester two as your optional module. And we are looking at including further streams as we develop and build the course. Now that was a very broad overview of the different modules. So there's the um, web link at the bottom there um, which you can type in to look at the specific modules in more detail. Now, as we've mentioned, there are certain topics that we keep coming back to throughout the master's course. And what you will find is that as we've designed this course um, holistically from scratch, we do cover certain key topics which are really crucial to being an urban scientist. So one of the main ones is urban inequality and this is something that you'll find will transcend a lot of the things that we cover throughout the course. If you focus on the urban transport analyst stream, you'll find you'll um, focus a lot on transportation and mobility, whereas if you look at the urban analyst stream, that's more focused on things like geodemographic and spatial methods, although we will co cover elements of both of those throughout the core modules too. So things like economies and ec economics um, will be something that crops up a lot, as well as crime, pollution, housing, health and well-being is my area of research. That's something that's quite prevalent in what I teach. But things like housing, smart city approaches and vulnerable populations are other areas that we look at in detail. Now, these key topics are just some of the areas we cover. We do cover a whole broad range, um, but some of these are some of the main ones which tend to feed directly into your dissertation projects where you'll work with um, academic or industry partners who maybe um, have shared interest with you to develop a project that's really exciting and interesting for you as an individual. But after you've completed the course, obviously the next thing to think about is what we do um, once you've graduated. So as I said, PhDs um, at Leeds or further afield are one area where we um, encourage our graduates to look at. Um, this could be through a PhD or through a research internship, which is available at Leeds Institute for Data Analytics. Um, and we work closely with them throughout the master's course. So that's a really good way to get to know some of the types of projects or, and the people that work on those. Some of our graduates will go on to do research in industry. So that could be for academic or um, industry or in sorts of government research projects. One of the main um, areas would be, of course, so urban data science and urban planning. And if you focused on the urban analyst or the urban transport analyst stream, you may find that that leads directly into a career that you're interested in. So things like transport modeling or GIS and cartography. It might be that you move away slightly from the urban focus and use those data science and analytic skills, which you'll get really good at throughout the program. So things like your programming skills or software engineering or data science. Or it might be that you apply these skills in a slightly different context, so things like in terms of finance and statistics and economics or government or teaching, you'll find you get a whole range of different skills, like a really um, holistic academic um, skill development program embedded throughout the, uh, the MSc, which can lead to a whole range of different careers. And particularly as we work with a lot of industry partners as part of the course, this means it's been really helpful for building up those future connections and deciding a career path that's right for you. So that brings us to the end of the presentation. So if you'd like to speak with me, the program leader, in more, um, more detail, feel free to email me there. It's v.holden at leads.ac.uk. 
or you can contact the admissions team um, on the email address on the slide and they'll be able to help you with those more um, logistical queries and of course can refer on to me if there's a program a question about the program content for example. We also have a lot of social media presence so on Twitter you can see the UDS underscore leads which is the um, Twitter handle for the specific MSc programme, but there's also for the School of Geography, the Faculty of Earth and Environment and the University of Leeds as a whole on the slide. Or if you want to look us up on Facebook, TikTok or Instagram, it's just at University of Leeds. So thank you so much for joining us today and if you have any further queries, don't hesitate to get in touch via email or social media and we'll be really pleased to hear from you. Thanks very much.